Are you a person or a commodity? Then why do most matchmaking sites treat you like a used car? At halfardeen.com, we focus on personality instead of statistics. You know, the things that will actually matter when you hit a few bumps in the road and the facts that her eyes are a beautiful chocolate brown and you're taller than her father do nothing to help you get through the tough times. Height, weight, eye color. What does that have to do with finding your perfect person for marriage? Joke! So for matters of the heart, get to the heart of the matter with halfardeen.com. Why guys watch sports. Do you ever notice how guys watch sports together? We're so amazed when we see a ball thrown, shot, cut, or kicked. What? Wow, did you see that? Did you see that? I saw that too. High five. Yeah, after a good play, guys will celebrate in different ways. Let me give you some examples. The high five. High five. The pointing fingers. We won. We won. We won, we won, we won, we won. The victory dance. We're winning. What were we doing again? Winning. The shake. And then there are some people who act all weird because they're not really sports people, so they don't know what to do, so they do all this weird stuff. The weird stuff. We are winning, we are winning, we are winning! Usually guys will just look at each other when someone does something weird, but in the heat in the moment and everyone's winning and the sports team that you want is winning, they let that stuff slide. Well, at least most of the time. Unless it gets like too weird. But for most women, they don't see what the big deal is. You'll be like, did you see that? Did you see that? And a woman will be like, of course I saw that. I've been sitting next to you for like the last hour. So I don't know what the big deal is. Um, when are you going to take out the trash? And you'll be like, trash? What trash? I'll tell you what trash is. Trash is what the team, the other team is getting. Those calls that the ref is giving them. I can't believe it. But it's okay. It's okay. Because we're winning. We're winning. <laughs> Do you ever wonder why women get bored watching hours of sports? Do you ever wonder why men are glued to the TV like moths to a flame? It's all about how our brains are wired. The male brain is stimulated when it deals with spatial things. So our brains are fascinated when it comes to calculating moving targets. So much so that society as a whole pay millions of dollars to people who can do it well and we sit there and watch it. And we're like, wow! And then you have brain surgeons and, and all these different doctors and engineers, all these prestigious positions, but they don't have the funds. They don't get the funds as much as these people. They don't get the millions of dollars. You never see a brain surgeon getting millions of dollars. You wonder why. I wonder why. Actually, I can't wonder too much because I'm watching the game. Sorry, guys. Goal! <laughs> Some say the part of the brain, the man that sits there and wants to calculate distance and space is because once we were hunters, we had to calculate distance to space. We see a moving target, an animal, <laughs> running from this side to that side. We had to be good at calculating. The people who were good at calculating distance to space were the ones who were fed and, and, and ate. And the people who didn't, they didn't eat. You see, long before the supermarket, people had to actually catch their food. Now, these days, instead of using that energy to hunt for food, we use it to argue how halal the meat is. But that's a whole different video, if you know what I mean. Anyways, times have changed, but our brains are still wired the same. So since guys are hungry for that spatial stimulation, most of us turn to sports to satisfy their hunger. We sit there for hours watching as, as people run around hitting a moving target, and we get excited every time they reach their goal. Goal! We become so amazed and watch every detail that we keep stats on the players. On the other hand, the average woman can care less how many points your favorite players score during the season. You see, for most women, they become more interested in the sport if they know something about the player. Like, who is he married to and how many kids does he have? But the average man can care less about such details. Thus, this makes it boring for either side to watch sports together. For the guys watching this video, remember, you're not married to the sport. You're married to your wife. And you need to give her her time too. You know, a lot of women will feel distant and bored when you watch sports without them. So if you're going to watch, you might as well get her involved as well. But remember, watching sports with your wife is different than watching with the guys. Because your wife will be watching and she'll be like, hey, 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 oh, who is that? 
Do you know who he's married to? Do you know how many kids they have? Questions that you may not care about, so you may not see the point of answering it. But if you answer these questions for her, she'll enjoy the sport more and she's more likely to sit down and watch it with you, which means you guys can spend more time together. Imagine that. That way you guys can spend time together and your wife won't be like, hey, I need to change the channel, I need to change the channel, and she'll end up watching some female show about girl issues. She'll be like, oh, I should listen to Baba Ali. You should listen to Baba Ali. And if you do, your whole situation might be completely different. You'll be like, you'll be like, honey, do you want me to take out the trash? And she'll be like, are you kidding? There's two minutes left in this game. Where are you going? Watch, watch. You know who that is, right? That's the one who's married to so-and-so and has three kids. High five. And you'll be like, high five, honey. Thanks, Baba Ali. You're welcome. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. That's it, guys. I'm done. Where'd everyone go? They went to watch sports again? Joke! Where's my theme song? I'll do it myself. Do you want to know what makes love grow? What makes love grow? It's half of your dean, said the prophet, peace be on him. Half of your dean. It's part of Islam, increasing your iman. Half of Aldean Half of Aldean.com